All right, everyone, the other day, the majority of Notre Dame Cathedral over in Paris uh, burned to the ground. And really, there's there's some stone facade left in the middle of it, but really the only thing that was saved was a chunk of one of the sides and then the bell towers. They uh, managed to survive more or less intact. They managed to keep them from igniting. Uh, by the way, some people, they're like, they're taking joy in this, but <laughs> you realize it's going to take an enormous amount of effort just to scrub the smoke off of the, the rock, right? And also, they're going to have to check this whole thing for structural integrity. Even the parts that are left intact, try this sometime. Well, don't actually try it, but, you know, think about what would happen. Imagine that you heat up a rock for hours at extremely high temperatures and then blast it with cold water. See what happens. It probably begins to crack. Um, unfortunately, they're going to have to dismantle part of the facade anyway to replace those pieces that have been damaged. Uh, the rest will have to be extensively cleaned, and that doesn't even begin to talk about the fact that the wooden scaffolding that's hundreds of years old that used to be up in the top of Notre Dame is gone. Uh, so it's a tragedy, <clears throat> and I'd say this. One part of me is like, well, nobody apparently died, or at least as of reports yesterday, and I'm not sure if that's been updated. So casualties, either low or non-existent, that's a good thing. It can be rebuilt, number two. And people are, like, joking about, well, Macron will try to, uh, you know, sort of reimagine it, make it, like, modern art. And so they'll rebuild Notre Dame. But other than the front and the one side that's still there, it'll be, like, a big glass cube or, you know, something hideous. Or they'll build a mosque there and, you know, and he's just looking for an excuse to do it anyway. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I don't think that's actually likely to happen. But it is a potent symbol of Western civilization. This was pointed out, especially, like, when the spire on top was falling over, it's like... It, it sort of fits in with the clown world, the sort of black-pilled narrative, I suppose, a little bit. Again, I'm still optimistic in many ways, but <clears throat> at the same time, it is true, you got some fucking problems over there. The mere fact that so many people would find it, you know, humorous to talk about them making a refugee resettlement center where Notre Dame used to be should be a sort of reminder of how weird things have gotten over there, but instead people... It was funny because there was a preemptive attempt by all of the Will Summers and people like that and the Krasens needs to be like, oh, you know, white nationalists are going to say all this stuff. And it's like, yes, so anyone, you're a Nazi if you believe in satire. If you point out that there's a sad state of affairs in Europe right now, politically, you're, you're a Nazi too. You see, they don't want to rock the boat because they want socialists to control everything. Especially the globalist kind. It's becoming a running joke as well uh, to talk about the fact that it's funny that the far left is like, why are wages low? But then it's like, oh, at the same time, we want people who don't demand higher wages to come into the country instead of allowing wage growth to compensate for a, a, a smaller population. It's a very funny uh, situation there. But it is a symbol. I know, like, Varg weighed in, and, and he sort of, you know, was joking about it, saying, well, I, yes, I uh, mourn alongside, like, the Gaelic people that have had so many pagan temples burned. Yeah, that is definitely true. Uh... It'd be hypo uh, hypocritical not to point out that slight irony there that people are so upset over this while technically celebrating a cultural and religious enclave that led to a, a hell of a lot of religious structures being burned. Uh, that being said, though, I'm, I'm sitting there, I'm trying to envision, like, people that are taking glee in this. And some people mistook it, like, on Twitter I was doing the grave humor, like the dark satire thing. Some people took it seriously, like I was happy about Notre Dame burning. I'm like, fucking, you don't understand what I'm saying. Uh, but, you know, then I was, like, sitting there, I'm trying to think of people <clears throat> that actually would be gleeful. And how sad it must be. Like, how are you any different, like, you know, they're like, aha, oh, you know, burn the church or whatever. Okay, so you don't like the Christians or fundamentalists specifically, or religious Christians or whatever. How are you being any different? Because, I mean, you're sitting there hoping for the worst for other people, hoping that they become, like, miserable and downtrodden. I do find it slightly funny, though, at the same time, that so many people are talking about the structure, almost no coverage dedicated to the fact that uh, all sorts of lives had been saved and how that's a good thing, only wanted to talk about, like, oh, the, we're mourning the loss of this art, or we're mourning the loss of, you know, this old, hundreds of years old wooden scaffold and stuff. It's like, dude, the scaffold can be rebuilt. And it'll probably be better now, the you know, with modern uh, engineering anyway. Although maybe not. Sometimes they do a slipshod job. And then you've got the mystery of how it burned in the first place. They're saying, well, we're not really sure. It was We think it was construction work, but it might have been intentional or something. Yes, it could have been a disgruntled construction worker, too. 
Some people are immediately defaulting to saying that it's a religious attack because there have been a lot of church burnings across Europe and, and desecrations lately uh, because of the increased anti-Christian population. I wonder where that's coming from. Uh, but that doesn't, just because a fire happens at a church does not necessarily mean that it's an act of sabotage. It could be. And really, you've only got two possibilities, negligence or arson. There's really no other way to describe it. I mean, it's what I mean. Okay, a faulty electrical system. I suppose one in a million chance that that's actually what happened. Sparks started coming out of it, and you know the fire started in the bathroom. And by the time we knew that there was a fire, it was too big. We tried to put it out. We failed. We had to evacuate, and fucking it got right up into the ceiling. Yeah, okay, that could happen, but it's not as likely. What's more likely is that some idiot worker was like using a gas torch the wrong way or, or something like that. Or somebody did come in <clears throat> and maybe they planted a small incendiary device or something. You know, they managed to get up there and do so. And if that's, you know, the case, uh, I think that you probably won't hear about it. And the reason why is that Macron is a globalist. And so he's going to tr go total hush-hush mode. If there is ever any evidence that this was a foul play sort of situation, you are probably not going to hear that for a very great number of years. Because then there would be retaliation. Because, like, look, uh, you've already got the Yellow Vest protests and everything. Everything there in France is already a fucking powder keg. This is the sort of thing that would tip it over into, you know a whole new wave of riots and it probably would be xenophobic attacks at that point probably be, it looked like south africa four years ago you remember that they were attacking immigrants from other parts of africa which astonished all of the leftists so they didn't even report on it they don't understand how somebody from south africa and mozambique can be so different they thought they were identical and shit because they're you know they're on the left so they're not exactly the brightest bulbs uh yeah so it's a sad thing but you should be celebrating that, again, as far as I know, nobody died in this. Um, were there even any injuries? Hopefully not. <clears throat> or maybe it was just a crazy priest. There's some crazy priest says, okay, you know, fuck this shit. Like, you know, gets defrocked or, for no, no reason. He's like, oh, I'm going to take care of this. This is my last sermon. Uh, and then he climbs up there and immolates himself among the rafters or something. It's always possible. That's about all. Peace out.